Hi, I'm Jeff McCourty. Welcome to Texas Passions. It's Thursday, August 25th, 88 degrees, little breeze out of the south, a few scattered clouds, no rain in sight. Beautiful night to start the 2016 football season. I'm at Venerable House Park in downtown Austin for the Taco Shack Bowl. The McCallum Knights will play host to their North Austin rival, the Anderson Trojans. McCallum is coached by Charles Taylor. He's in his third year coaching the Knights. They missed the playoffs last year for the first time since 2008. So they're hoping a strong showing tonight could lead them down the path to playoff action later. Anderson is coached by Jeff Rhodes. He too is in his third year leading the Trojans. Anderson hasn't made the playoffs for the last five years but they have knocked off McCallum in the Taco Shack Bowl each of the last two seasons. The beginning of football season is always an exciting time. Every team's undefeated. They all think they've got a chance to be playing up at Jerry World late in December for the state championship. They've gone through the heat of two a days. They've had all those practices and all those scrimmages. They're ready to play somebody wearing a different colored uniform. They're ready for the Friday night lights to come on. Ought to be a great game. While the teams finish their pregame warm-ups, let me tell you about the barbecue I had earlier today. Much to look at from the front of Freedman's, located at 2402 San Gabriel Street in the bustling West Campus area of Austin. The building was erected in 1869 and has been used for a variety of different things over the years. A residence, church, publishing house, and grocery store. Now it's a full-service bar that serves barbecue, a drunkard's dream. There's a patio on the side, and out back are the pits where the barbecue magic happens. They also smoke ingredients for their desserts, their homemade Bloody Mary mix, and other things they serve. I ordered my usual half pound of moist brisket and two ribs. The brisket was very juicy and tender to the touch. No need for any utensils. It easily pulled apart by hand and melted in my mouth. The ribs were big and meaty. The meat easily bit off the bone and was very tasty. The barbecue was served with slices of homemade bread, which was very good, wedges of homemade pickle, homemade pickled onions and jalapenos, and a sweet, not spicy sauce that went well with the meat. To top off the meal, I tried the smoked chocolate mousse, which was excellent, and the banana pudding, which was average. All in all, Friedman's is a good place to eat some barbecue with great atmosphere and friendly service. I'd happily take friends and family there again. This barbecue gets my highest rating, two hook'ems. James Barron started the Taco Shack Bowl with a nifty return of the opening kickoff to midfield but the Trojans were forced to punt on their first possession. McCallum missed a chance to score early, but did move out to a 13-0 lead on the strength of a 50-yard touchdown run by Andre Blakemore and two short field goals by Luke Whitefield. Anderson got on the scoreboard in the second quarter when quarterback Trey Lundquist found Jacob Graves open behind the defense for a 29-yard scoring strike. McCallum struck back on their next possession with a 34-yard touchdown pass from Max Perez to Blakemore. McCallum scored once more in the second quarter to go up 27-7 at half. Anderson scored twice after halftime on a 16-yard wide receiver screen to Graves and a pick-six interception return by Robert Abernathy. That made the score 27-21 with 2.44 left in the third. Unfortunately for the Trojans, they would get no closer. The Knights moved the chains consistently to kill the clock, using a strong running game led by Perez and Blakemore. Blakemore finished with 32 carries and 256 yards on the night. 
After a long drive by McCallum, Anderson got the ball on their own 20-yard line with a minute left. But they were unable to move. The Knights took over on possession. Perez lined up in the victory formation to run out the clock, and the game was over. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.